There's no question we have the best program. Gus Hall, General Secretary of the Communist Party, is the communist candidate for president. A former steel worker, he has been a union organizer and strike leader. And now, Gus Hall. Good evening. Tomorrow the votes will be cast and counted. The 1972 elections will be history, but the issues will continue to be with us. In the past weeks, we have seen a flurry of activity about peace in Vietnam. And frankly, it is still in grave doubt. As welcome as peace is, whenever it is achieved, the American people have a right to know why it has taken four years, the lives of 22,000 Americans and a million Vietnamese, 13 million bombs and $60 billion. Peace could have been attained the day Nixon was inaugurated. The basic proposals which the Nixon administration has now agreed to were proposed by the North Vietnamese even before Nixon was elected president. The only thing that is, has changed is that President Nixon now faces an election. After four years of escalated aggression and non-continuous reneging on terms he's already agreed to, how can anyone trust Nixon to carry out the agreement after November 7th? The fact is that whichever of the two candidates wins tomorrow, our country's problems will not disappear. 40% of the workers' wages will still go for taxes, while over a third of the big corporations will continue to pay no taxes at all. A third of our people will still be living in rat-infested slum housing. The elderly will still suffer neglect. Poverty will continue to grow like a slow cancer. The government will continue to pour billions of dollars into tanks, guns, warplanes, and bombs. The ugly specter of racist oppression, now fanned by Nixon's open racist appeals, will continue to poison and stock the land. Wages of workers will sink even deeper into the Arctic wage freeze, while prices, taxes, and rents will continue to skyrocket. And you can be sure, corporate profits will continue to set new records. The Republican and Democratic candidates have not presented any meaningful new solutions, and they never can because they are hogtied to the system of corporate profits. Meaningful solutions must, of necessity, step on the toes of big business. Corporate godfathers always squeal when you make them pay the taxes. We communists are unalterably against the system of corporate profits, which breeds wars of aggression, racism, and poverty. In this struggle, it is necessary not only to step on the toes of the monopoly corporations, but it's necessary to step on their necks we are for dismantling big business power and replacing it with people's power. In this election, as always, there is a choice between a more reactionary and a more liberal candidate, but both basically represent the interest of big business. We say the time is ripe for political independence, the only path to people's power. In the 72 elections, the Communist Party serves as that people's alternative. A vote for the communist candidates is a vote against an ultra-right, racist, anti-labor, lame-duck Nixon. A vote for the communist candidate is more than just a protest vote. It is a vote against poverty, war, racism, and exploitation, but it is also a vote for positive action for working-class unity, the unity of blacks, Chicanos, Puerto Ricans, Indian, and white, white working people. It is the one vote that expresses the people's outrage at the steady decay of overall quality of life. A vote for the communist candidate is a vote of struggle, a struggle for a better life. Thank you. Tomorrow, make your vote count. Vote for the communist candidates, Gus Hall for president, Jarvis Tyner for vice president, and the local communist candidates. If they're not on the ballot in your state, write in the names Gus Hall and Jarvis Tyner. For more information, write to 23 West 26th Street, New York, New York.